praise Yahweh. Isaiah 48. Isaiah is making a statement here concerning who sent him. And then we're going to be reading Isaiah 49, 14, as long as the Lord leads us. Come ye near unto me, hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was, there am I. And now Yahweh Elohim and His Spirit has sent me. Praise you, Father. Thus saith Yahweh, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am Yahweh thy God, which teacheth thee to profit, <laughs> which leads thee by the way that thou shouldst go. Oh, that you would have listened to my commandments. Then had thy grace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Thy seed also had been as the sand, and the offspring of thy body like the grains thereof. His name should not have been cut off, nor destroyed from before me. Go ye forth from Babylon, flee ye from the Chaldeans, with a voice of singing declare, tell this Utter it even to the end of the earth. Say ye, the Lord Yahweh has redeemed his servant, Jacob, Israel. And they thirsted not when he led them through the deserts. He caused the water to flow out of the rock for them. He split the rock also, and the waters gushed out. There is no peace, saith Yahweh, unto the wicked. Listen, no islands, to me. Listen, coastlands, unto me. And hearken, you people from afar. The Lord has called me from the womb. The body of my mother, he made mention of my name. And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword in the shadow of his hand. He has hid me, made me a polished shaft. In his quiver he has hid me. And said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught and in vain. Yet surely my judgments with Yahweh and my work with my God. And now saith Yahweh, who for me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Israel again to him. Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of Yahweh, and my God shall be my strength. And he said, 
It is a light thing that you should be My servant to raise the tribes of Jacob To restore the preserved of Israel I will also give thee for a light To the Gentiles, Isaiah Thou mayest be my salvation to the ends of the earth To the ends of the earth And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldst be my servant To raise up the tribes of Jacob And to restore preserved of Israel I will also give you for a light to the Gentiles That you may be my salvation to the ends of the earth Said Yahweh, the Redeemer of Israel And His Holy One To Him who man despiseth To Him whom the nation abhors a servant of rulers kings shall see and arise princes also shall worship because of Yahweh is faithful and the Holy One of Israel and he shall choose thee and he shall choose thee and he has chosen thee, O Israel. Thus says Yahweh, in an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee. And I will preserve thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people To establish the earth, cause to inherit the desolate heritage That you may say to the prisoners, go forth To them that are in darkness, show yourselves They shall feed in the ways and their pastures shall be all high places. And they shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he that hath mercy on them shall lead them. Even by the springs of water shall Yahweh guide them. I will make all my mountains away, my highlands shall be exalted, behold they shall come from afar, and all these from the north and from the west, and these from the lands of Sinan. Oh, hallelujah. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains, for Yahweh. Comfort at His people, and will have mercy upon His afflicted. But Zion said, Yahweh has forsaken my Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet I will not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Thy children shall make haste, the destroyers and they that made thee waste shall go forth from thee. Lift up thine eyes around about and behold all these that gather themselves together and come unto thee. As I live, says the 
Lord, thou shalt surely clothe thee with them all as with an ornament. Bind them on thee as a bride does for thy waste and thy desolate places and the land of thy destruction shall even now be too narrow by reason of the inhabitants. And they that swallow thee up shall be far away. The children which you shall have after you have lost the others shall say, again in thine ears, this place is too small for me. Give place to me that I may dwell. Then shalt thou say in your heart, Who has begotten me these? Seeing I have lost my children and am desolate but captive, and removing to and fro. And who has brought up this? Behold, I was left alone. These, where have they been? Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lift up my hand unto the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people. And they shall bring forth thy sons in their arms. And thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth. You shall lick up the dust of thy feet You shall know I am Yahweh For they shall not be ashamed that wait on me Shall the prey be taken from the mighty Or the lawful captain deliver But thus says Yahweh Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered for I will contend with him that contends with thee and I will save thy children and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine and all flesh shall know that I am Yahweh thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Where is the bill of your mother's divorcement? Who oh, I have put away? Or which of my creditors is it to whom I have sold you? Behold, your iniquities have sold yourselves and your transgressions. For these your mothers put away. Why, when I came, was there no man? When I called, was there none to answer? Is my hand shortened at all, that it cannot redeem? Or have I no power to deliver? Behold, at my rebuke, I dry up the sea. I make the rivers a wilderness. Their fish stink, because there is no water, and die for thirst. I clothe the heavens with blackness, and I make sackcloth their covering. The Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary, the weak 
waking if morning by morning He awakens my ear to hear as the learned The Lord God has opened my ear And I was not rebellious Neither turned away back I gave my back to the smiters And my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair I hid not my face from shame and spitting For the Lord God will help me Therefore I shall not be a disgrace Therefore have I set my face like a flint and I know that I shall not be ashamed He is near that justifies me Who will contend with me? Let us stand together Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me Behold, the Lord God will help me Who is it that shall condemn me? among you that fears Yahweh, that obeys the voice of his servant, that walketh in darkness and has no light. Let him trust in the name of the Lord, and rely upon his God. Let Trust in the name of Yahweh And put their hope in His God Behold, all ye that kindle a fire That surround yourselves about with sparks Walk in the light of your fire and in the sparks that you have kindled, this shall you have of my hand. You shall lie down in sorrow. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek Yahweh. Look unto the rock, Whence you are hewn into the hole of the pit, whence you are digged, look unto Abraham your father, and to Sarah that bear you. For I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. For Yahweh shall comfort Zion, he will comfort all her waste places, and make her a wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody shall be heard therein. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation, for a law shall come from me. And I will make my judgment to a rest for a light to the people. My righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth, and my arm shall judge the people. The coastland shall wait on me, and on my arm shall they trust lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath for the heavens shall vanish away like smoke and the earth shall grow old like garment and they that dwell therein shall also die 
But my salvation shall be forever And my righteousness shall never be abolished And my righteousness shall never be broken Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness The people in whose heart is my law Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be afraid of their revilings. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness forever, from generation to generation, my salvation goes forth, says Yahweh. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of Yahweh. Awake, as in the ancient days, as in the generations of old. Are you not in that has cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? Art thou not it which has dried the sea, the waters of the great depths? The waters that have made the depths of the sea away for the ransom to pass over. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing to Zion. And everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy. And sorrow and mourning shall flee away. Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return. Come with singing unto Zion. And everlasting joy shall be upon their heads and they'll obtain. Gladness and joy and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Declare the name of the Lord your God. The one who has saved you. Put my words in your mouth. 
my hand that I may plant the heavens and lay foundations of the earth and say unto Zion, you are my none to guide her among all the sons that she's brought forth. Neither is there any that takes her by the hand of all the sons that she has brought up. These two things are come unto And the famine and the soul. By whom shall I comfort thee? Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury. The rebuke of thy God. Therefore, hear now this Thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus saith thy Lord, Yahweh, and thy God that pleads the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of your hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to your soul, bow down, that we may go over. And you have laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. Thank you for your word, Father. Hallelujah. 